Hi, this video tutorial is going to introduce Scapple to you. Scapple is a very simple application to use, which will allow you to develop and rough ideas out, establishing or destroying connections as you go. Scapple initially opens with a couple of directions. Double click anywhere to create a note and drag notes onto one another to make connections. That's pretty much all you need to know to get going. Let's double click and create our first note. We can also press Command Return to do the same thing. I'm hitting Escape to finish editing a note. And when we follow our second instruction, dragging one note onto the other, we can see a dashed line appears connecting the two notes. If I want to remove that connection, I can simply repeat the action. I'm not restricted to only creating notes from within Scapple. As you can see, I can drag all manner of items into a project, from images and icons, to text files and even scientific formula. As I drag in the text file, I'm asked if I want to split it into multiple notes, which I do. Resizing the images and positioning notes as I wish. If you're running OSX line or above, you can use full screen mode. I can click on any note and drag it to move it around my virtual paper, or create a marquee rectangle by holding down the mouse button and dragging around multiple notes to move them as a whole. I can also hold down Shift or Command to select notes by clicking on them individually before moving. If I hold down the Option key when dropping one note onto another, you can see that an arrow connects the notes. Holding down Option Command will provide an arrow pointing in the opposite direction, whilst holding Shift Command when dropping one note onto another will result in a double-headed arrow connection. Holding down the same modifier keys when creating a new note will make the appropriate connections to any selected nodes. You can drag nodes around by their connection, or even create a new note connected to both nodes by double-clicking on a connection. If I want to delete a note, I can simply select it and hit delete. That essentially covers all the basics of using Scapple. As you can see from the menus though, there are plenty of formatting and arrangement options available. Going to View, Show Inspector, or hitting the key combination Option Command I will bring up Scapple's Inspector. I can then change the text style of a note and alter other characteristics, like adding a border around my note. If I'm happy with a certain style of a note and want to use this combination of appearance options for other notes, I can save it via Format, Note Style, New Note Style from Selection. I can then apply it as a predefined note style to other notes. I can also apply note styles directly from the contextual menu. If a note is selected when I press Command Return to create a new note, then the new note is stacked directly beneath the original note. I can also stack disparate notes dotted around my virtual paper by selecting them and using Notes Stack. Notes will be stacked beneath the note that was selected first. The relative vertical positions of notes in a stack are maintained when you edit or remove notes within it. Background shapes can be used to enclose notes as a visual aid. To create one, control click and select New, New Background Shape. As you can see, I can alter the size of the background shape to include notes or drag notes into it if I wish. Turning on the magnetic option within the inspector will cause any overlapping notes to move around with the background shape. I'm going to come out of full screen mode to show some additional features. You can either use Option Command Cursor Up and Option Command Cursor Down to zoom in 
and out. Or use the zoom slider in the footer bar. If you're not editing a note, you can also use the Z key to get a bird's eye view of your entire document. Releasing Z will return you to your previous zoom setting, but with a focus on where the mouse is. Another way to navigate around is to hold down the space bar and use your left mouse button to drag scroll around your virtual sheet of paper. If you tire of moving notes around with your mouse, you can enter movement mode by pressing the letter M on your keyboard. An icon of a cross with four arrows will appear in the footer bar. Your arrow or cursor keys will now move selected notes around. Holding down the shift key will increase the movement increment. Pressing M again will return you to regular selection mode where the cursor keys alter your note selection. The notes menu also provides a plethora of arrangement options. When it comes to exporting your new grand plan, you can use File, Export to export to common file formats like PDF, PNG, TXT, RTF and OPML. You can also drag notes directly from Scapel into Scrivener's binder or freeform corkboard if you wish. I can also drag my previously created PDF directly into Scrivener's binder research area. That concludes our introductory video to Scapel. We hope you enjoy using the application and thanks for watching. Before you go, here are a few project examples.